Hello everyone, my name is Zach and welcome to BadLifesGolf.com. We're showing you how to have more fun on the golf course is our number one priority. Today's topic is Wolf, four player golf gambling game. This game's been around for a long time. It's been played all over the world. Everybody plays it. If you don't know how to play it, I'm going to teach you how. Step one, setting up our tee off positions. The most easiest way that people have determined to set up tee off positions is take a tee. Get all four of your players around on the tee box, spin the tee. If the tee points to you, you are player number one. You will be in the first position teeing off. Do it again until you get player number two, three, and four. This is important because you will be in this position the entire round. Step two, how rotation works. Basically, player number one will tee off first on hole number one followed by player number two, player number three, and player number four. Remember, this was, we got this order by spinning the golf tee. Now, the rotation flips every hole. So now on hole number two, player number two will tee up first, followed by player number three, four, and one will go from first position to last. Same on three, three tees up first, followed by four, and then going back one, followed by two, hole number four, will be teed off by player number four first, followed by one, two, and three. Once you've completed this four hole cycle, we're gonna flip the cycle and start over. Now remember, this is only for teeing off. Step three, who's the wolf? The wolf is always the first person to tee off on a hole. So on hole number one, player number one will be the wolf. Hole number two, player number two will be the wolf, same as three and four. Always the first person to tee off is the wolf. The goal of wolf is to create two separate teams. The basis of the wolf is the wolf gets to select the teams. Um, and remember, the wolf is always the first person to tee off on that hole, so that would rotate. The wolf rotates every four holes. Everybody gets a chance at being the wolf. Okay, so now let's say the wolf tees off. I'm the wolf, I tee off. Okay, I hit my drive down the fairway, it's okay. All right, now player number two tees off after me. He follows me on the first hole. If player number two hits a drive right down the middle of the fairway, and it's a good shot, I'm probably gonna wanna take player number two as my partner creating the first team. One and me and player number two will be on team one, leaving player number three and number four on team two. Now that we've decided our teams, we will play our own balls throughout the whole hole, our own shots, and at the end of the hole, we will add up team one score versus team two score. So my score plus player number two score, let's say we both shot a par on a par four, so we would have eight and player number three and player number four, let's say they both shot bogeys. So they will have a 10. So that means team one, me and player number two, will have won that hole. So we would each get a point for winning that hole. Step four, lone wolf option. Basically what the lone wolf option is, is I am the wolf and Let's say player number two hits his ball in the water. Player number three, he's deep in the woods. Player number four, he's deep in the woods too. And my, I'm sitting out in the middle of the fairway. I was the first one to tee up. I got a good shot. All three of these guys are looking really bad. Um, at this point, I can decide, you know what? I'm going to play this hole by myself. That would make me now the lone wolf. Um, now to win, I just need to shoot a score lower than all three of the others score. So to win, let's say I shoot a par on the hole and these other three guys all shoot bogey or worse, meaning I beat all three of them. In that case, I would get two points for myself. Um, the kicker to this option though, is that if one person ties me, if it's a tie, it's a wash, nobody gets any points, but if one person from the other three players beats me, I have to give the other two players, all the other three players will get two points. 
So that's the lone wolf option. Handicaps and par threes. The basic rule about handicaps is is uh, if there's a player uh, that you're playing with in your four and your foursome that is really not that great of a golfer, some people will give that player a one shot handicap per every hole. Um, so that means if he scored a bogey, obviously it's going to be a par instead. Or if he scores an eight, it's going to be a seven. So we'll just give him a one shot leniency. Um, that's for you to decide. You don't have to play this way, but some guys like to do that with a weaker partner. Par threes. Par threes are important. The way I explained selecting your partners on the tee off shot only applies to par fours and par fives. Par threes, the wolf, he must select his partner before anybody tees off because you are shooting at a green right away off the tee box. It's pretty easy to select somebody, you know, if they hit it closer and you're going to pick that guy. So if I'm the wolf, I have to say before the hole even starts, I'm selecting player number three as my partner. In this case, par threes, I would always select the best player that's remaining out of the other three, or I would decide to go with the lone wolf option. You know, this is, this is a good, good time to do this if you're a strong player. Example scorecard, I'm going to go over kind of how we score this and, and add this up. Um, let's say um, the first hole, me and player number one, or me and player number two are partners. In our first case, I said we won, so we would each get a point for winning the team. Uh, we were on a team that hole, and we won, so we'd each get a point. Let's say on the second hole, player number two and three were partners, and they won. They would each get a point. Let's say hole number three, um, player number four decided to go as the lone wolf, and he won. It was a par three. He would get two points. Hole number four, let's say that uh, player number two decided to go as the lone wolf, and he lost. If he lost, everybody else would get two points besides him, so he would... That's not good, obviously. Um, the next hole, so on and so on. We're, we're going to keep going until we get you know, check marks in all these boxes, until we finish our 18 or 9 or whatever we're playing. At the end of this, we're going to add up our points. So in this case, we have player number one is three, four, five, six, seven. Seven points one, player number two has five. Player number three has five. And player number four has five. Wow. So in this case, player number two, player number three, player number four all tied at five points. But player number one had seven. So basically, we'll do some simple math. Seven minus five. Player number two, three, and four would all owe number one two dollars. And that's how you play Wolf.